Now, I really don't watch a lot of dating shows on Netflix, but there's one in particular that I think is very, very, very stupid. And that show is Love is Blind. The premise of the show is essentially that you can fall in love with somebody without ever seeing them. And then if you guys are having a good connection, you can then see them in person and then from there decide whether or not you want to marry them within just a few weeks. Honestly, that whole idea in itself already sounds like a bad idea, but in this video, I'm gonna tell you why I think the show in itself is just very dumb and really makes no sense when you think about it from a biological and scientific standpoint. All right, so subscribe, like the video, Let's go ahead and get right into it. So the show is basically saying that you can fall in love with somebody for their personality before you ever see them. And if there's one thing I've learned after learning the red pill, after learning biological dating dynamics, is that attraction always comes first. Whether we like it or not, you can fall for somebody's personality. Yes, you can think they're the greatest person in the world. However, if you are not attracted to that person from a physical standpoint, then it will go nowhere from there or it will be very, very short lived. And I've seen this, I've asked girls in real life, hey, did you find your ex attractive? And for the girls who told me no, like I fell for his personality and then from there, we gathered a relationship. Those relationships never lasted long. Now let's take it from the male point of view, right? I would say most women sometimes make that personality first sort of argument, but as a guy, attraction will always come first. We are visual creatures, and if we don't see something we like, even though we have some sort of emotional connection there first, it's definitely not gonna go anywhere. And I've actually seen representations of that on the Love is Blind show where the dude had a great connection and then he ended up meeting with said girl. And then from there, he just couldn't do it because it reminded him of a family member, a friend, like something wasn't there, that spark wasn't there. And that is the attraction phase, right? The attraction will always come first. And that's what I feel like is the first stupid thing about the show is that they're pushing this narrative that personality comes first and that you can fall in love with somebody without necessarily being attracted to them. That's not the way dating works. That's not the way attraction works. And unfortunately, there's a big show um, now on Netflix saying that it actually can be the opposite way around. Even from the woman's point of view, I would not want to be with a woman who didn't find me physically attractive, but liked me and my personality, my voice, or whatever else it may be, and decided to be in a relationship with me from there. That's just a horrible idea from the start, guys. Trust me, attraction always comes first. Now, I'll talk about how they actually decide to get married after meeting each other and like going on a little vacation or whatever. And through that, they only have a few weeks to decide. So <laughs> the reason why that's obviously a bad idea is because there's no vetting process, man. Not only should you vet for a girl to be your girlfriend, but you should definitely vet for somebody to be your wife to sign a government contract for, right? I remember I was watching the last season. It was this black couple, right? And I already saw the red flags there whenever they started dating and like the arguments, whatever, but they still decided to go through with the marriage. And I told myself, uh, next month or six months or a year from now, I'm gonna come back and see if they got a divorce. And I guarantee you that they did. And of course they did guys. It's very rare that couples actually last long-term through meeting on a dating show like that. The statistics are actually pretty crazy, which I don't know um, based on the top of my head, but I can assure you, that the amount of couples who actually get married and stay together long term, three plus years, is incredibly rare. It's already incredibly rare that that happens in real life. So you mean to tell me that if you meet somebody through a dating show where you can't see their face and then have a few weeks to decide if you're gonna marry them, it's gonna last? It's not going to, man. And that vetting process, at least for marriage, in my eyes at least, depending on what age you are, minimum, minimum two years, man minimum two years and i don't think just a few weeks is a long enough time to establish whether or not somebody is wife material like you really haven't seen or been with that person long enough to know if you want to sign a government contract to be with them long term and another thing i realized in part of the show and i will i'm blaming the guys right here is that the dudes are super emotional they're just like way in their emotions um, above their logic, right? When you're moving something like that, you have to be rational, you have to be logical and actually weigh out the pros and cons of being in this sort of establishment and situation. Now, argument to that is that the fact that they are even on the show shows that, you know, they're kind of leading with their emotions. They really value marriage and they really want it in their lives. However, I'm just giving my argument back on to why that's obviously bad idea. Last thing, let's not forget that this is reality television, guys. 
I'm probably gonna eliminate my chances of ever getting on any sort of reality dating TV show, but that's totally fine, right? I've had offers in my DMs every single week. I still haven't done it, but it's reality TV, meaning that it is fabricated to some degree and edit it so that you can have a perception of what they want the viewers to see and what will get ratings and what will increase watch time. You guys don't realize that. Reality TV is fake. A lot of it is fake. A lot of it is sometimes scripted or things are placed here and there so that you know a little bit of drama or arguments can start. They might even tell one of the uh, people on the show, hey, can you do this to kind of spice things up a bit? Think about it. They had like a totally plain just cast, who everybody always got along, there's no issues, no drama, you wouldn't have a TV show, guys. So remember that when you're watching Love is Blind or any reality show for that matter, is that to some degree it is of course scripted and I think because it is scripted to some degree, it gives a false sense of reality of what dating actually is and what is actually doable or can be done for a series like that, right? I feel like it's, it's pushing this narrative once again of emotions over logic, personality over attraction, and in the real world, all that stuff really just doesn't work out. So that's why I think Love is Blind in itself is one of the worst dating shows or reality dating shows that I've seen on Netflix and on TV and in general. But the truth is women enjoy watching content like that, so they're probably never gonna stop creating this series. So that's why I think Love is Blind is stupid. That's why I like the video. Y'all let me know. Do you also think a dating series like this is pretty dumb? Let me know down below in the comments. See you guys in the next video.